Hey, Grampia Nation, here I am back doing another video log vlog with my trusty dog, Magnum. And uh, this one is pretty interesting, and the title just grabs you. Rules were meant to be broken, said some idiot right before he landed in the emergency room. Rules are formed and enforced in the backs of people like us to protect us from people like that. Case in point, today's illustration comes to you from the big salty range in Salt Lake City. And that's the place where long guns and pistols get safely discharged on a regular basis, just like any other gun range in America. Unfortunately, there are historical events which led to a ginormous list of rules and regulations to be read even before you enter the range. Every time someone pulls a harebrained stunt or does something they soon regret, someone writes a new rule. Now, there's a way and a reason that that happens because these lists just keep getting longer and longer and we get rulemaking by all the three and four letter agencies charged with protecting us from ourselves. Somewhere we have lost a requirement that we be personally responsible for our own actions. I clearly remember being a youngster knowing I was going to be in big trouble when I got home. It was imprinted on my backside. <laughs> Yes, it was, that bad ideas were not necessarily needed to be carried out. And I still remember those lessons as a youngster very well. Yes, rules and order are good and even perhaps necessary for societal order. But what is better? What is better? Take a look at the things that allow for education and self-correction and like I learned about firearm safety from my brothers. It was training by trauma. If you do that, it will hurt. I learned about mentoring from people who were older than I am, my dad and my grandpa. I learned by doing, that's being self-taught. I learned by structured education. I had teachers, you know, grade school, middle school, high school, college. I had even further, I had structured education when I talk about firearms from the NRA. Um, they have a terrific training program from really legit firearms instructors. I had, obviously, that formal education we talked about. And one of the things that get lost is every time you teach someone something, you learn something from it. So I'm going to wrap this up with some points to ponder. I learned nothing, absolutely zero, from this awesome sign at the Big Salty Range. I can honestly say I don't even know if I read it. So, as a society, we need to allow common sense to become common again, like it used to be. Personal responsibility is the only thing that is truly scalable on the planet. Personal responsibility means you take responsibility for you, and I do for me. Very scalable. If the scars aren't going to be too bad, warn them, and then watch them, and then let them know, hey, I bet that hurt a little bit, didn't it? I bet you learned something, didn't you? Follow the medical training model. The medical training model uh, says watch one, do one, and then teach one. And if you do that, you're going to learn on three separate levels. Mentor someone and be mentored. Um, you got to be mentored because, frankly, I don't know it all. You don't know it all. We don't know it all. Let's reach out. Let's embrace the mentoring model. Have fun, but be smart. And then finally, do not contact me with any anti-gun rhetoric. I learned how to combat that in grade school. This is Jim. Have a great day. I'm out. <laughs>